Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. We are checking out in this video the comparison between the Mark 43 exclusive version and the Mark 42. Both are die cast, very similar armors. I get asked a lot what is the difference between the mark 43 and the mark 42 is one better than the other what extras does it come with um, what extra options do you have so i'll cover some of those points in this video and compare the two i'll actually also include the options if you want to put on the tony stark head as well a couple of poses at the end and a couple of mods that i've decided to do as well First off, this is not going to be a review. I think most collectors, people who check out my Facebook page and on Sideshow Freaks that know me through YouTube as well, I don't do reviews. So if you're looking for a review of Iron Man figures or this one in particular, check out Denobi 2. I'm sure he'll get picked this up shortly. On top of that, you've got to check out Xenomorph, the reviewer king, and everyone knows these guys, Sean Long and Shartimus Prime. Those guys will definitely have these in due course. So for the full reviews, check those out. Secondly, this is as this is a comparison video, I won't be going through the ins and outs of every part of the figure, but just the differences that I've noticed, some different options you can have with the 43 that you can't have with the 42. So I think you can see just in front of you the difference already in terms of options on the mark 42 you get the battle damage option you get the shoulder pads that can come off you've got the interchangeable battle damage armor that you can have and the tony stark head sculpt is a little bit different i'll cover that in a moment when i when i go a little bit closer so you can see them on the mark 43 the exclusive comes with an extra red eyed infested helmet that the faceplate can come off so you can actually put that on the normal mark 43 faceplate as well you get the mark 1 ultron half figure it's not articulated the head can come off and the arm can come off it swivels as well 90 degrees and the head can swivel completely so nice little touch you've got some more pose options with that as well you get a diorama base with a mark 43 Whereas the Mark 42 just comes with the, the sort of Hall of Armour um, house party protocol base. So just slightly different there. I'm not going to go through all the different extras you have, but I'll show you some of the options you will have and that you can play about with. Okay, guys, the first thing I'm going to show you is the light on the Mark 43 compared to the 42. It's very hard to get the camera angled here, but I th hopefully I can, it will show up. The Mark 42 has a more translucent look about the light. Slightly less bright, I would say. I'm not sure if it will show up on the camera. But anyway, you can see that it's quite clear. You can see the arc reactor behind it, the triangular shape. The Mark 43, you can actually see the triangular but it's actually translucent because of the, the the camera may not pick it up but I'll switch it off a little bit later and hopefully you can get a good look at that as well so that's the first thing you can see that's different the next thing is the armor on the legs here and here there are slight changes to that and I'll show you those changes in a moment when I articulate them very slightly so you can see how they rise up this 43 has slightly more articulation because of this new design that they've put in there. It's a very slight, small, minor design, but nonetheless something new. This Ultron Mark I figure, I really like it. It has a few additional pose options. It's a shame that it doesn't light up on the head and it's not articulated, but it's a really nice piece. Nicely done. This is the infested Mark I sorry the infested head let's get a better shot of this now this is the infested head 
of the Mark 43. I'll switch that on a little bit later. But what I wanted to show you in particular is the head sculpt. They're identical except for the blood stains compared to the Mark 42. And it's not battle damage. It's a completely clean look about it. You can see the differences there. So that's superficially how they look. I'm just going to do a side profile so you can see how they look side by side in terms of the different color variations. I would say the base armor is pretty much identical. The repaint, yes, it's a repaint with some slight differences, which I'll show you in a moment. You've got to note that because the Mark 43 doesn't have battle damage options, the shoulder pads you can't swap out, so don't try and pull those out, you may get in trouble. The forearm armor doesn't swap out as much as the other Mark 42. It has the um, rocket launcher on the forearm chest armor can come off as well so let's put them in a slightly different look and slightly different options show you where to go from there okay I've swapped out the head and put on the infested head with its red glowing eyes nice piece as I said earlier the face plates can come off so you can swap that as part of a battle damage look for the Mark 43, if that's what you're looking for. Just a quick tip, I know a few collectors have said putting in the batteries on the helmet is a bit of a pain. The easiest way I've d I found doing it wasn't to use sellotape or a bit of tissue, I just used two screwdrivers and gently ease them in, and I almost like chopsticks, and I put one in first, slid the second one in, so it's push snug against the uh, plastic and then finally the third one in and that's the easiest way I found for doing that I think also I can zoom in a little bit better to get a look of this arc reactor I think you can see that it's more translucent compared to the mark 42 which is more metallic so that's a slight difference there it's a more translucent look here Finally, the biggest change is the articulation. So this is the Mark 42. The waist section has two flaps that come up. I've dropped the legs on them so it can go into more articulated pose. And those are the two flaps that essentially lift upwards to allow the leg to go higher. The Mark 43 have changed it. It's now two piece. So you have four pieces that lift upwards. Two in the front here and here and then an extra one up by the waist on the side section there and that section there so this allows even more articulation which if you guys want to do some dynamic poses with them it'll look fantastic so that's the differences there I'll do a shot of the back and then let's have a few poses with these bad boys Here is the back, and the only mild difference that I can see, the Mark 43 has slightly more battle damage look and scuffs about itself. So this sort of section here by the middle of the back, down by the waist, and the only difference I see on the bottom is that the button there is actually a button that you press. It, you can see it's, it protrudes out very, very slightly. Whereas here, you press that sort of larger rectangular square and that folds down, not the smaller one. So that's probably the only main differences there. It just looks a lot more cleaner on the 42. Yes, you can swap them out completely for the battle damage version. But generally, the Mark 43 is, I would say, a much more rugged, worn look. And you don't have that many options in terms of making it more battle damaged because that's how they've set it up. 
I quite like the look of it, and I have to say, I prefer the 43 over the 42. The collectors who have seen my personal top 10, the 42 didn't even make it into my top 10. The 43, I would say, definitely goes in there, purely because of the pose options and the fact that you have the uh, Ultron Mark 1 option. And I'll show you some of the options that I'm going to put in with very shortly. This is the first pose I'm going to put them in, potentially in my display cabinet. This is actually dedicated to the Reviewer King, who I know loves his posing. I wish he'd do a few more pose videos coming up. But if you're watching this, Rick, check out this pose specifically for you. I've got the infested helmet held on here in the Mark 43. Tony Stark is saying, hang on a minute, guys, we've got some problem here pointing towards the Mark 1 Ultron saying watch out there may be some problems there boys with a Mark 42 holding him so something I thought be quite nice you've got some pose options you can do because of the Ultron figure and the infested head I know I'm gonna get asked this so I might as well just cover it this head does not come with a Mark 43 this is the Iron Man 2 arc reactor set head and I've put on there a neck adapter from the Mark IV and the red collar. The blue headset is something which I picked up and is a custom piece. And I've just got it lit up as if he was in Iron Man 3 looking at the Mark 43 infested helmet. So I quite like this pose, something a bit different. Let's check out the next pose. Second pose of these bad boys are pretty much in battle. The Mark 43. I tried to get him in that pose we've seen him in the trailer where he fires the repulsors upwards. A little bit different than what we've normally seen. I think that's quite a good angle to catch him from. And then if we come across from this angle... It's actually quite a nice shot from here. You cover up the um, the stand so you don't even see him at all. So that's quite a nice little shot there. And I've got the 42 as if he's ripping apart the Ultron Mark 1 head. Really nice detail on this Mark 1 head. It's definitely worth picking up the 43 just for the Ultron Mark 1. If you can get hold of that separately and you're not looking for the 43, try and get hold of it because it's really nice for posability. Um, just something so you don't get bored with your figures, you can mess about with them a little bit more. So that's another pose and I'll finish off with one more pose I think. My final pose, I've got the Mark 43, I've swapped out the head and the right arm for that infested Ultron Mark 1, so I've just plumped the head on top, swapped out the arm, so he looks like he's actually turning into Ultron or being controlled by him, and there's the Mark 42 about to finish him off. This pose I think has got to be dedicated to Moggy. Morris, get back on YouTube, do some more videos, everyone loves them, we haven't seen you in the community for as long as we can remember, so get your videos back up, the community misses you. This pose is specifically for you, because you're one of the boys that introduced me to posing figures dynamically, not just in museum poses. Just wanted to show you guys this. I have to say, this looks quite funky. Anyway, that's it for my comparison video. Thanks guys for watching, hope you found it useful. Couple of tips there for the Tony Stark head sculpt and putting batteries in, stuff like that, if you want to play about with this. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you at the next video.